guys, it's Karen Ahuha with Karen Ahuha Studio. Hey, I thought I would come in for creating artwork for art licensing and talk a little bit about some of the holiday art that we're seeing. Now, when you're working with art licensing agents, they're typically purchasing in summertime for this season, maybe even early spring to purchase Christmas and holiday art. However, there are a few agents that are purchasing a whole year ahead, so they are looking at Christmas art at this time. I wanted to just take a look at what's going on and what's trending this year so that as I think through in the summertime, what I want to be painting, right? So when I go to look in the summertime, it's gone. So I like looking at this time of year and just kind of making some notes. So I am going to two sites today. It's Macy's.com and Wayfair. The reason I'm picking those two sites is um, they're affordably priced artwork um, that most people can afford somewhere between you know fifty dollars to a hundred dollars maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less but um, I want to see what's trending and um, I'm not recommending that you copy what's here but what I'm recommending is that you take a look at the topics that are hot and um, you always need to um, re like, recreate a piece of artwork that's inspired by the trends but it's not copied right so it's trying to take the inspiration so I'm at Macy's.com and the first thing I'm noticing is there's a donkey so that is definitely something I haven't seen before um, it's a really nice um, painterly donkey and I like that um, it looks like a lot of what's here is also pulling any of the fall holidays so um, I'm just going to comment on the Christmas pieces and the holiday pieces look um, this truck was really popular last year and it's still in which says to me it's probably going to be in next year so a red truck is definitely popular um, the blue hues in this are interesting because blue is really a hot color in the color palettes this year so it's interesting with all this blue here um, you know the Christmas card holiday art is still really popular uh, a lot of word art as well and um, even thinking through creating your artwork on different substrates like wood or creating the look you know of this might even be a canvas reproduction but it looks like it's printed on wood again the wood um, I think it's needless to say Santa's always going to be popular and trying to find a new way like you know Santa fishing is probably one of the um, best ways to not be copying what you're seeing but just recognizing that Santa will always be in um, again here this painterly cow he's got a couple bells on his ears the llama's still in no surprise there what else let's see um, you know, the the Volkswagen bus, and it looks like this isn't an Airstream. I can't remember. You know, it's a Christmas camper. That's that's interesting. What else? Let's do one more page in Macy's before we go to Wayfair. All right. Anything else? that is unique or different the nice thing about holiday art in one way is it really doesn't change much um, it's you know always going to be always going to be a um, snowman's popular the Christmas tree which I like this Christmas tree it's a nice one uh, and Santa and reindeer so yeah that looks you know again the word art is always going to be pretty much in All right. Oh, I want to comment on the Santa. So we've talked before about how navy blue is really strong in the color palette this year. And I think it's interesting that Santa has a navy blue background. So let's pop on over to Wayfair and see what's going on there. Um, Wayfair is going to be even a more affordable site than Macy's.com. So uh, let's see what's here. Again, a lot of word art. Um, the artwork looks just more, it's simpler, more craft-like, um, or Christmas card Victorian. This is interesting, a little sloth in Hawaii. Oh, if you know me, I love pineapples. 
Tropical Holiday graphic art print. Okay, not sure that's pulling holiday, but it's okay. I like it. Uh, again, a lot of on different substrates, or even if it's printed on canvas, it looks like it's printed on wood board. Ornaments. Not much photography. Oh look, they're pulling instead of that red truck, it's a red tractor. There's the red truck. Oh, here's something interesting. So the mason jar was really big this year with you know flowers coming out, so they pulled that into the Christmas theme. Do one more page. Up oh, again. Uh, things are really super simple. I mean like wrapping paper simple. Look at that. And the llama. It's here to um, Yep, that looks like wrapping paper. So it's just something to consider when you're creating artwork. Um, probably at this site, it's definitely more graphic than painterly, as someone calls it, called it to me the other day. It's painterly. So um, a cow. There, were, there was a cow on Macy's too, wasn't there, and the donkey. Just noticing some of the animals that might be trending you might see next year. So that's about it. Again, I just wanted to swing in and remind everybody, if you're painting for art licensing, you know, you're you definitely need to watch the trends that are happening and when you need to print like paint it in the summer, the that you're not available to look at. So I like to take my notes now so that I can remember what was trending for the holiday of 2019 when I'm painting for holiday 2020. Um, and if you're working on some commission pieces, again, I'm not recommending that you copy what you're seeing, but definitely use the inspirations that you're, um, that you're seeing that are trending here, right? Um, if you're going to do a Santa, just do it in a different way. Um, I liked the one Santa that had that navy blue background because it's pulling in some of the trending colors of 2019. So go ahead and do that as well. Remember that art uh, at Christmas time that's holiday themed? Um, it's a little bit more difficult to get your square inch pricing uh, because people are only able to put it on the wall for a month or two and then that goes into a closet, right? So if you can even bridge that difference between um, holiday art and something they can leave up for the rest of the year, you might be golden. So uh, if you follow my Facebook page, I just posted a picture of a like, mini Christmas tree, but I was careful not to put in any ornaments or decorations. It just has some um, pine cones with it. And so that piece actually can extend out for a couple extra months, even though um, it's it pulls holiday, but it is not definitely someone wouldn't look at it and say um, that's a Christmas piece. So there's a little tip. If you're um, working on some pieces, try to think of stuff that you can bridge through the year. So, hey guys, it's really good to stop by. And hey, if you have questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and um, I'll get back to you. All right, guys. Hey, if I don't talk to you before Thanksgiving, have a great Thanksgiving and... I will check back with you at the end of the month. It's almost December. Have a great one. Bye. Oh. <sighs>